a white supremacist from Green Bay, Wisconsin planned to attack law enforcement with acid and had a clandestine laboratory in a basement covered in Nazi memorabilia, it has been claimed. After a SWAT team, bomb squad and hazmat search to property Michael Tracy Anderson, 38, had access to, but did not own on Friday, authorities reportedly found a beaker of urea nitrate, an explosive fertilizer ingredient that has been used in terror attacks in numerous locations, including the World Trade Center in 1993. Assistant District Attorney Wendy Lemkiel said during his probable cause court appearance Friday they found Nazi and SS paraphernalia and Aryan race things all over the basement. Law enforcement was called to the property Thursday after Anderson's mother complained he was part of the Aryan Brotherhood, plus had knives, swords and possibly firearms in the home. She told dispatchers he had threatened to throw acid on police and that he would go down fighting to the death because he's already dead Green Bay Press Gazette Lemkiel said. When they arrived they spotted a vehicle leaving and loop around the block before his girlfriend jumped out motor wearing only a shirt and underwear and ran back into the home. Law enforcement also found a .22 caliber handgun with paperwork listing Anderson's name and address. He had a crack pipe and recipe for extracting pseudoephedrine, the ingredient used in manufacturing methamphetamine. Scroll down for videos Anderson said the chemicals found were for business use, but Green Bay Police Captain Jeremy Muraski said they were still investigating. Authorities also discovered his girlfriend in the basement Friday as they searched the hideout of the man who is known to officers. Anderson has 19 previous convictions that include offenses relating to hate crime, domestic abuse and possessing a firearm as a felon. He was arrested for disorderly conduct in 2012. He posts tattoos such as one with the words Nordic Pride and is believed to be a behind an anti-Semitic Facebook page. When they entered the home they discovered the containers of liquids and powders that could create explosives when used together. They discovered a large volume of hazardous type chemicals in the basement of the residence. Things that we are not used seeing you know, normal cleaning chemicals and things like that, but things that were more hazardous or volatile in nature, police captain Jeremy Muraski said. The chemicals as they sit individually might not pose a hazard, but the tricky part is if they would come in contact with each other, if any of them were spilled, if they're in containers that are breaking down are not really designed to handle that type of chemical. In a household situation that's something you worry about much more so than in an actual chemistry lab. Neighbors were ordered out of their homes around noon and weren't allowed back until 5 p.m. Thursday. It was only until teams searched the property, which Anderson does not own but has regular access to, that the female was found hiding in the basement. Fire and EMS crews arrived at the scene and the woman was transported to hospital, reports Action 2 News. Share this article share it's not known whether the woman remained there during the evacuation or returned later on. She was not arrested, but detectives plan to question her. Some of those materials have been taken as samples and will be going through laboratory settings, things of that nature. As of this point, though, the house is safe, the neighborhood is safe, Miraski said. Whenever you find a bunch of industrial type chemicals, you know, it could be something very innocuous. It could be something where somebody is running some sort of small business out of their home.
It could be something people are using to manufacture drugs, or of course in a much more severe situation possibly manufacturing explosives type devices. As of this time, we don't have any conclusion that any of those things is going on. He added about Anderson who remains in custody, the male was apparently described as being somewhat verbal to officers, but I'm not aware of any deployment of weaponry or anything like that. The state must file any additional charges against Anderson by November 28.